Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we have a Samsung Galaxy A73 that looks like it got hit by meteors from space. That's bad. Today we're going to help out this Galaxy A73 from its current state. It looks bad but it, there's nothing serious because as you can see here when we attach a charger it charges up so that means we just have a problem on the display. The internal components are in good condition. So first up we're going to remove the back cover on this Samsung device. And this is gonna be quick, I guess. David has done a lot of Samsung smartphone repairs in the past, and by that, he's known as our Samsung Galaxy expert here in the shop. I'm gonna slowly slice through the adhesive. I mean, really, really quick. If you're someone who's interested in smartphone repair, you can experiment with the Galaxy A series and you can slowly work your way up and David here is just making it look easy so don't be discouraged if you don't find it easy for a few couple of tries this is our replacement display on the left side and everything that you see here the battery the main board cover the daughter board cover that we just removed all will go to the replacement display and before we can do that we are going to attach the connector from the old display to the new one but then we'll see if it's gonna show us something hopefully it works so that we can continue with our reassembly look at that would you use the smartphone in this configuration we have a separate <laughs> display for me I'm not gonna really try it's gonna be dangerous it's gonna expose some components but it would be really cool to troll some of your friends if you use your smartphone this way luckily for us it's just for testing so you can see here we have gone through the home screen and now we're gonna try if we can shut it down properly and remove the new display don't worry if it looks blurry because it's still got its plastic over the display so we are gonna focus ourselves now on the removal of the components that we are gonna transfer to the new display and remove these cables, remove some screws, then remove the antenna cables here. You can see uh, the antenna cables on lower end smartphones. So you have your Galaxy S series, you don't see these cables, two cables between the mainboard and daughter board. And we are also going to remove the microphone. Also going to remove some components here, smaller components. Oh, this is for our replacement display. So we are going to remove the tape over the slots where the components go. So it will take a, a while. Screw this in secure that move some covers and then transplant everything that we can just to keep the work desk tidy we don't want to lose some parts if we have the chance to put them back in we are gonna do so right away that's a pro tip put this thick flex cable and this is gonna be a challenge the removal of the battery but David just makes quick work out of it for a smartphone with this 
specs, the battery is relatively big, which is nice if you use your smartphone extensively throughout the day. It's gonna last you the whole day, no problem. We're gonna cover the daughter board, put back the SIM card tray, and cover up the main board, and we're almost done. Look at that. We use our electric screwdriver to get them all back in efficiently. And then let's test it. So we all know that the screen already works with the board, so we're just gonna confirm if that is still the case. Put the charger back in because it's still low battery. And I think this is a success. It's a good outcome. It's already 8%. And we're gonna remove the plastic at some point here. Come on, David, let's remove that plastic. Before we can do that, final piece, the back cover. Look at that. Looks like you bought a brand new A73. Turn this on, look at that. From the front, it looks brand new. This is the before and after. And I hope you enjoyed this guys. Like and subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Cheers. If you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price, you may contact Sydney CBD Repair Center. We also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.